Let's go. Okay, so we started recording um, for the sake of those who might not be able to join us, but we're grateful that you guys managed to join us today. Thank you, Lydia, Miriam, uh, Kuzi, and Sonia. Good to have you. So please confirm, can you see my screen? Yes, Casey, podemos ver su pantalla, yes. Wonderful. Good. So we're going to be doing relationships today. Um, relationships. And we're also going to do a bit of verbs. So that's what we're going to focus on. Verbs and relationships. Okay. Um, are you translating that or we can move on? Uh, we can move on. Nomás vamos a trabajar en familiares y verbos. We can move on. Good. Uh, so uh, the first word that we're going to be looking at has to do with what you hear most of the time when you get to your kingdom home. If it's your first okay, I'm sorry. I'll, repeat, I'll translate after you finish your first sentence. Okay, good. Lo que vamos a hacer primero es traducir la, lo que hacemos en el Salón del Reino. And that phrase is wrong woman. That phrase is what, I'm sorry? Wrong woman. Wrong woman. Wrong oh, mujer. Wrong. Wrong woman. Okay, have you said that? Wrong woman, mujer. That's what women, mujer. Okay, that's the Chinese word. So woman is us. Women is rank. Woman is us. Us. Yes, or we in plural. Or plural. Mm. Okay, well, let's do it this way, uh, just to make it easier for everyone. We're gonna put up um, Google Chrome, and we're gonna put it in Spanish. So what we're doing is, I'm gonna put, type it up here. Woman, oh man, I have to pull up a keyboard. Yeah. Okay, can you see can you see here? Woman. Can you see that? Yes. Yeah, so that's us, right? In plural or we. Oh woman. Yes. Eso es nosotros. Good. That's a great one. So that's us. And now we're adding, before it, we're adding rang. Can you see that? Sí, lo podemos ver. Oh, si ponemos rang woman, es nice. nos deja. Good. So, so when we say rang woman, we now ask, we are now calling everyone, let us. Rang woman, let us. Rank woman as let us nos dejas in Espanol. Very good. Thank you for putting it both in English and Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so that's where we are. And now when we come back to our slide, now that we have that bit, a bit of background, we're saying rank woman. We will see this every time when we start want to start something. We're entering the kingdom more. Rank woman, something something. Okay, cuando entramos al Salón del Reino, siempre decimos que empecemos, nos dejas, empezamos así con rank woman. Yes, so after that we, it comes a verb, right? Something we have to do. Después de eso tenemos que decir algo. Very good. So I don't know who we have here. Let me see if I can tease somebody. Um... We have VVC. VVC, how are you? Well, good to have you. Uh, are you familiar with Chinese verbs like go, eat, sit? 
I don't know if she knows English. BBC? Do you know her, Bamba? No. Um, yeah. No, just, just seen, seeing them. Yeah, me too. BBC. Hermana, BBC. Ah, ¿Así se llama? <laughs> Le puse así. Es Verónica Valdez. Verónica Valdez is her name. Uh -huh. Sí, de México. Oh, de México. Usted no sabe inglés, ¿verdad? Ok, good. Un poquito, un poquitito entiendo, un poquito. All right, nice. Good, so we'll, we'll, we'll call you just now. Uh, let's pick a few a few examples and then I will give the floor to you guys. First off, let's pick Rang Woman and then Bai Fang. Okay, it's Bai Fang. This one here to visit. By phone para visitar. So está apuntando al cuadrito que estamos aprendiendo ahorita. Ahorita estamos aprendiendo de wrong woman que quiere decir vamos. Mm. Good. And we can also pick any other, any other verb. For example, to pray, wrong woman, dog go. Dog go. Which one? The one below here. Oh, by phone. Dao Gao, Bai Fang, we pick all of them. We can use any of those. Oh, podemos escoger cualquier verbo que está ahí. El de, el de, el de abajo es de visitar, donde está ahorita es orando. Y luego el negro es comunicando. Y el rojo es parientes. Good. So last time we did a couple of verbs. Who remembers the verb to go? ¿Cuál es el verbo a ir? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Ooh, el verbo. They say to go. Okay, let's let's throw, let's throw in some verbs there. Yeah? Okay, Kuzi, what verb do you know in Chinese? Eat, read. Que verbo sabemos en chino? Hay alguien que sabe um, sabe un verbo en chino? Um, I think to eat is um, kai. Uh huh. Uh huh. Your clothes. Your clothes. It was. She. She. Okay. So if you say wrong woman, uh, look over here. Wrong woman. That's the part here. What you see in here is what's written here. Wrong woman. And then we add the verb. For example, to eat, we're saying she. Right. Wrong woman. She. That means. Dejanos comer. Si ponemos el wrong woman she, ahora cambia el verbo a dejanos comer. Good. So the part, these are the parts that we have. We have woman, that us in the middle. Wrong, that's late. And then we add in she. Okay. So vamos a poner el, el verbo she, que es comer. So a ponerlo, ya decimos run woman chi, eso quiere decir déjanos comer. Mm, good. So can, well, the, the emphasis is as the fact that we can have any other verb we want. If this time we picked chi, we can even say chang. Okay, el importante es recordar el run woman, que es lo que nos importa decir si queremos hacer algo. Y luego ponemos el verbo. Good. So if we if we change that to this one, we will now have this one. Okay. Si ponemos ahora el verbo changi, is that how you pronounce it? Changi. Changa. 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 Yes. Changa. Changa es cantar. Changa. Yes. So changa is the song. Can you see? Chang yes. can cantar. 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 What? Cantar. Cantar. Muy bien. <laughs> All right. So that's what we have. So if we merge them together, it's to sing. All right. So we can replace any this part here with every other verb. Like this is a, a build, uh, building up. Like in the past, we had all those verbs that were building up. So now we are, the only new part is this part where we're saying you can begin by this part and then add whatever you want to add in the front. Okay. So podemos agregar el verbo después del wrong woman. Es el verbo ahorita estudiamos, aprendimos el verbo cantar. Chang he. Is that how, is that right? Chang he. Chang go. 
，让我们唱歌，唱歌，唱歌。嗯唱歌 Okay. Okay. Uh, Jose, are you following on this one? Yes, I am. Okay, good. Uh, so nice. So we have two verbs that we thought of. Uh, by Fang and Dao Ba, which is to pray and to visit. So if we have a Bible student, who remembers the word for Bible? Can recuerda the verb of the Biblia. What, what's the Bible? Sing, sing. Sing, sing, that's correct, yes. And who remembers the word for student? Para estudiante, el verbo. Um, sure sing. Sure sing, correct, nice. So when we combine the two together, we have a Bible student. How do you think we say Bible student? ¿Cómo decimos estudiante de la Biblia? How do you think we say Bible student? Uh, Angela, good to have you. Okay, she's still coming. Angela, bienvenida. Okay. Angela, bienvenida. Gracias. Perdón. Gracias. Oh, I see. By ahí dice en el rojo dice estudiante de la Biblia. Cheng, Cheng, Sui, Cheng. Very good. Spot on. That's the correct answer. So now that we know, um, Cheng, Cheng, Sui, Cheng. Let me let me circle it out for you. Um, trying to pick up a different color. I'm picking a yellow pen. If you can see the red one, the big red one right here. This is our Bible student. Cheng, Cheng, Sui, Cheng. Okay, same thing. Esto es estudiante de la Biblia. Bible student es estudiante de la Biblia. Good. So the Bible is same thing. Same thing es la Biblia. And then su same is the student. And su es el estudiante. Very good. So Miriam, can you say Bible student? Puedes decirlo, Miriam. Yes. Very good. Let's start with student. Suersen. 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 Very good. And then the Bible. Sing, sing. Sing, sing. Very good. And, and now let's combine them together. Sing, sing. Suersen. Okay, can you see here? Lo ves allí, Miriam, el rojo? Sí, yes. Sing, sing. Swan, sing. Sing, sing. Sing, sing. Sing, sing. Sing, sing. So I saying, okay, good. That's Bible student. Nice. I think this one is a bit tough for you if it's your first time, but who want to try? Let's see. Veronica, do you want to try? Quiere tratarlo, Veronica? Uh, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. It's Swen Sing. Very good. Nice try. Okay. So Swen Sing. Swen Sing. Very good. Now we have the word for visit. Uh, could you what's the way to visit? La palabra para visitar. By phone. By phone, that's good. You, yeah, you have, you're a little faint because I'm not sure whether you're far from your phone or you, I'm not sure what's happening. Uh, we, we can hear you, but you're yeah. very faint. Oh, okay, I'll try to come closer. Nice, good. So we now have visit, we now have Bible student, and we also know the word to let us. So how do we say let let us visit Bible student? Ahora cómo podemos decir la palabra vamos a visitar a un estudiante de la Biblia? Who wants to try to combine? ¿Quién quiere intentarlo? ¿Quién quiere intentar cómo se dice ahora visitamos a un estudiante de la Biblia? I will try. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, so I would say, Rang woman, my fang, shen jing, sui sheng. Ah, nice one. Very painful that one. That's spot on. <laughs> nice. Yes. Event. Yes, that's hey. what you say. Good. Nice language, yeah. Okay, can get it in Thailand. Thank you. Gracias, Bob. <laughs> So we we touched on this one. Um, it's a little bit tough for people. So we will, we will now shift because I think we have most of the people are not from our previous previous classes. So let's now, tenemos at, estudiantes nuevos ahora. Hmm. Let's look at things that are easier. Okay. Now let's start. Let's start with family members. Family is Gia. La familia. Donde está la familia? Okay, I think if you have your notebook, please take it out now because we want to do some things that are very simple for everyone to follow through. Okay, did you tell, did you tell them that? Uh, yeah. No, I'm sorry, what did you want me to say? I said, if they want to check out their notebooks, they can take them out now because we want to do something that's very simple for them. Okay, si quieren sacar sus cuadernos y hacer algo, um, vamos a hacer algo muy sencillo. Si quieren hacer sus, um, sacar sus cuadernos, Y escribir lo que vamos a aprender. Okay, thank you, Panda. So now starting with family. Uh, the, the word for family is Chia. La palabra familia es Chia. And I want them to repeat after me. Please say Chia. Chia. Repitan después de Panda. Chia. Chia. Very good. Nice. Yeah. So that's yeah. family, right? Familia. Or family. Okay. Familia es Chia. Good. And I want to show you a word for person. Who knows the word for person? La palabra persona. Ren. Ren. Good. Nice one. We have so many Chinese people in here. Okay, so Ren. That's the, first, the word for person. Ren. 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 People. Gente. Gente is people. Good. And, and who remembers the word for family? La palabra para familia. Is... Shia. G. 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 Yes. G. Okay. Um, I'm going to type it here. Very good. Let me G. type it here. Please listen closely. I'm going to play the audio. Yeah. Okay. Did you get Again. Again. Yeah. G. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. So. Like where do you where do you park your car? In the. Donde estacionas tu automóvil? Where do you park your car? Yes, what's the word or the English word for where you park your car? Parking lot. <laughs> ah, yeah, but in your at your place in your home. Oh, your driveway. No. Ah, you guys, <laughs> we, <laughs> you, you have your piece. This time we have thieves, so you park it in the garage, right? <laughs> oh, in the garage? <laughs> yes. Donde estacionas tu carro? In the garage. <laughs> yeah, now we're taking the G part, the last part, the, the garage, and then we're saying G, yeah. Okay, G, uh, like that? Yeah. G, uh, G. Yes, so that's the way for family right there. Okay, now oh, para. El G H como que tiene una G al final. Good. So you see what we did now? We combine G and Ren. Family, G people. And Ren. Okay. Ja Ren. That's your family. Oh, G ja Ren is familia. Very good. G ja Ren, familia. Good. So some of you were there when we did when we started doing uh, the first class. How do you say how is your family? Los que estaban aquí para la primera clase, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Cómo está tu familia? Okay, I'm gonna pick Angela. Do you wanna try? Yeah, yeah, Yes, the Mayang is very good, but it's very big for us. There's another one which is very short. Hay otra más corta, Angela. No, no me acuerdo que entré atrasada a la clase. No sé cómo más se pronuncia. What did she say? She does. She says she's behind in her class, and she doesn't remember. Ah, okay. What's the word for good? 
¿Qué es la palabra para bueno? Ah, ya. Ni da chare. Heng hao ma. Yes, very good. We're going to remove hen. We're just going to go with how, which is the word for good, right? And the how? question mark. Yes. mark part, right? Need yes. the Okay, vamos a quitar, vamos a agregar la palabra how, que es bueno. Yes, so this word is good. How is good, right? How is bueno. And then ma is like a question mark. This is what shows, oh, this is your question. Eso es para la pregunta. Right, so when we say Jerry, how ma? how ma? Como esta? La familia. Tu familia. Oh, muy bien. Si es decimos Jaren, how ma, eso es cómo está tu familia. Good. And how do you think we'll respond here if you want to say family is good? ¿Cómo se responde a preguntar cómo está la familia? Jaren, how ma, ¿cómo respondemos? How? <laughs> how is good, yes. Keep it simple. That's nice. I like that. And if you want to include the word family. Si queremos or incluir la familia, ¿cómo diríamos? Or a chilling, hang how. Yes, we could put hang how there. Then that will sound more natural. Very good. Chilling, hang how. Está bien. Okay, la familia está bien, diríamos. Chilling, hang how. Okay, good. So anyway, this is just us going digression because we want to be able to form sentences from what we did in the past. But what we need to ask... Perdón, I'm sorry. Es para hacer oraciones que hemos hecho en el pasado. Mm. But what we need after is giving them names, giving them names. Okay, so let's start with father. Father is right here in the middle next to Jerry. So we started with Jerry. Okay, but now we're here. Can you see the yellow part? En la parte amarilla es lo que estamos aprendiendo. Padre, father, yes. baba. 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 Yes. Baba. Okay. Good. Um, Miriam. Baba. 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 Good. Veronica. Baba. Baba. Baba, Baba. Yes, he is. nice, nice. Kuzi, Baba. Baba. Lovely, lovely. You guys are getting it nice. Okay. Let's start asking them muy bien. Now let's go to mother. Mama. Madre. Mother. Mama. Nice, Mama. Veronica. Lydia. Mama. 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 Very good. Mm, good, good, good. So we have father and we, have, we now have mother. So how do we say father and mother? We want to try father and mother. How do we say padre y madre? ¿Quién lo intenta? Yo, Verónica. Pa papa, mama. Yes, very good. Okay. Nicely done. So there's another word which is and in Chinese. And it's ha, 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 like this. Ha, 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 ha. Okay. Yeah. It's. I think in in Spanish you would use. That's why you use the Y thing, right? <laughs> yes. Go I've seen. Uh -huh. I've seen you write just the Y part where you say uh, this part. <laughs> and it uh, means and it means with somebody else, right? Okay, eso es e. La palabra ha es como e. Good. So now when we say papa, right? And and we say her and then oh. mama. Like this. Para decir padre y madre, diríamos baba he mama. Yes. So let's go together. Baba, ho, mama. A decirlo juntos. Baba, he, mama. ¿Cómo se escribe he? J, E, o, o, H, 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 E. Es como, pero si sí hace el sonido J. 
¿Sí me da Miriam más el sonido J? Sí, ya ve que nos explicaba Javier que la H por lo general da un sonido como de J y la J una leve che de shi, shi, algo así. Ok, well, I'm explaining to them, gracias Miriam, I'm explaining that we make the H sound like a ha in Spanish, mm. like a J. Very good, nice, 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 nice. Thank you, Lydia, for that. Very important. Okay, so that's the word there we use when we want to say end, and that's the way the Y representation. Okay, good. So, uh, who wants to try one more time before we go? Um, Kudzi, do you want to try? Baba ko mama. Baba ko mama. Who did you ask, Panda? I'm sorry. Oh, okay. We were saying Kuzi can try, but Kuzi is not in here. Okay, Kuzi is back. Oh, she's coming in again. She got out and now she's in. <laughs> okay. Kuzi, we were saying, can you try Baba, her mama, over here? Baba, her mama. Baba, her mama. Good. We we're waiting for you to say that. Now we can move on. <laughs> uh -huh. So we have said father, we have said mother, and now we're getting to the children. <laughs> okay, children is right here. Hi. Which one? Okay, let me put uh, a red pen over here under mama. Hi. Oh, para decir niños. Hi, Z. Yes, it's a, very good. And now we want to talk of two, two, two children. Uh, hi, Z. I want them to repeat for me. Hi, Z. Hi, Z. Please repeat. Hi, Z. Hi, Z. Repeat that. Hi, Z. Hi, Z. Hi, so repeat that. Hi, so niños, children. Okay, good. Um, hi, so thank you, Veronica. Hi, so. Miriam. Hi, so okay, please say that again. Hi, so hi, so thank you, Kuzi. Hi, so. Nice. So now we have Baba, Mama, Haid. And then on Haid, we want to split them. We want to say this one is a son, this one is a daughter. Oh, I guess para hijo y, I mean, niño y niña. So it's both children, a boy, son, and daughter? Haid is both of them, regardless of their gender, we just say children. Haid is niño y niña. No importa si es niño o niña. Son los dos. And now we want to say daughter, which is this, which is this one here. Noir. But I said hija. Diríamos noir. Yes. Noir. Noir. Very good. Uh, let's let them repeat after us because I think that's very important so that they get the tones. I'm going to write it up because it's a difficult one to say, but we will try. Okay. Vamos a intentarlo porque es difícil de pronunciar para decir noir. niña. Hija. There you go. New R. New R. Let's go. New R. New R. Repeat that. New R. Miriam, Veronica. New R. Yes, very good. Very good. So that's the that's one for, for, for the daughter. That's daughter. Okay. And the one for son is art. Can you see here? Para el hijo. El hijo es R-C. Over here. R-C. Yes. So this one, the C sound, this one here makes the same sound as pizza. You remember we said pizza. Uh, okay. It's como pizza el R-C. Yes. R-C. R-C. Yes. All right. Good. So I want to tell us. How do we split heights? Sorry, say that again. How do we split heights? If we have children, how do we split them? We have what and what? Boys para decir que te, oh, para decir que tenemos hijos y hijas, ¿cómo diríamos? Well, if we have a daughter, we would say New York. Very good. And, and we have, I have two sons. I have two sons. So I would say, wait, I forgot my numbers. Uh, I would say, R, R, C. 
Nice try, Lydia. Very good. Um, we will, we, will, we will show you the other way you could do that as well quickly before we go. It's Esta es la otra forma de que podemos decirlo también. This number here. Ese número. Uh -huh. zero. Yeah. yeah. So if you say, if you yeah. have two cents, you would go. Yeah. Go. Oh, para it? decir dos niños, dos sombras. Also, Leon means also two. Yes, and in your case where you're saying you are count, you are saying you are talking about uh, family members, you are counting the number of how many you have. Liang will be the best fit for that, even though two is the number, but it changes. Um, okay. Yes. Para decir uh, dos, el, el número cambia a la palabra Liang. Good. Now let's come back where we're saying. We say we pick this one. We said earth is for daughter, for son, right? Yes, esa es para dos hijos. Para un hijo, perdón. Mm -hmm. All right, so I want you to see this part here. You see, over the part, we say earth, that's this part here. Eso es, or si es el hijo. Earth, right? That's a boy, that's a boy, right? El hombre. Son, el niño. Right? And then, you are daughter, la hija. Right? Very good. And then we're coming back here. Now, see what we're doing. We're taking this part and this part, and we're coming up with this part. Oh, pusimos las dos partes juntas para poner lo último, que es niños, or no. Oh, okay. Yes. So we added a few things. So we forgot the C in the front, and we can delete the R in the front, and you can still come up with a new, which is again children, right? R new, R new. Okay, so R. did you get that? Escuchamos eso que quitamos el primer aquí el primer símbolo la primer señal y la segunda señal hicimos el segundo y hace la confusión niño si ¿Sí entendimos eso no Ángela mire quitamos la, la primero el primer símbolo la, el símbolo de hijo y luego el símbolo de abajo de niña y abajo los combinamos y hace la palabra niños very good I hope they got that one. So we can oh, move on now. <laughs> okay, we will. All right, lovely. So that's the part where we're doing that. Because did you get that? Escucharon eso? Que la pri lo que dijimos? Yes. Yes. Good. So we've touched this part. Here. So here's the other word for family members. Dear thing. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Jating. So you can say jating or jating as familia. Or jaren. It's also the same thing. Jating familia. Good. Now let's talk about a husband. Husband is tang. El esposo. Tang fu. Where's where husband? Oh, Changfu. Cha, cha. I remember again, we go to the garage. Cha, cha, cha. Cha, cha. Changfu. Yes. That's. Changfu. Ese es el esposo. Changfu. Okay, let's write that down. Quickly. Changfu. Changfu. Ese esposo. Husband. Good. Now, who wants to try my husband? Quien quiere intentar mi marido, mi esposo. Um, Sorry? Come again.
Okay, somebody's hanging away. Uh, let's see. I mean, Adhela wants to try. Adhela wants to try. Adhela? Well, 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 yes, you were very close. Uh, uh, what was that, Veronica? Yes, okay, good. Well, that is good. Uh, right here, then the, the word for husband is here. Let's see. Okay, so come again, uh, uh, Veronica, and use Changfu at the end. Al último pones el otro, lo que dijiste. Lanco. 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 Okay, I think what Veronica is trying to say is she's trying to come up with another word for husband. We'll get to that one very soon. But for now, let's just try and use this one. Let's pretend Changfu is the only word we know for husband. How do we say okay. my husband? Por lo pronto, nomás vamos a usar el Changfu, Verónica, y vamos a usar mi marido. ¿Cómo es mi marido? ¿Tú sabes, Ángela? Hola, Changfu. Yes, very good. Please say that slowly so that they can pick up the, 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 the syllables you're saying, eh? Más quedito, por favor, Ángela. Hola, Chanfu. Nice. Good. So what she's saying is... Oh, ah, okay. I'm sorry. I'm going to pick up my keyboard. Because this one doesn't work. Pick up little. Okay. Gracias, Ángela. Okay. That is what she, this is what she's saying. Oh, ah, Chanfu. All right. What does wo mean? ¿Qué es eso? What the? It means I. Wo means I, very good. And what does da mean? What does da mean? Y la palabra da. There is um, possessive to show that um, something. Very good. So da is a possessive marker. Okay. So. We're saying wo, and then we put da, that means it's mine, all right? Here, let's put, let's take this out. You see, if you say just wo da, that means wo da. it's mine, right? Mia, wo da is mio. Good, and now we say my husband, wo da zhang fu. Wo da zhang fu. Oh, y si lo ponemos junto, ya estamos diciendo mi esposo, wo da. Changfu. What do Changfu? Changfu. Water. Water. Changfu. 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 Okay, let's hear you, Veronica. A ver, Veronica. Let's do the word tank. What word tank? Sí. Or what land? Water Changfu. No, no lo pueden escribir para She wants to see if you can write it again. What? No, lo, no lo ve? ¿A dónde está? A ver, a ver, a ver. Ahí, donde está apuntando los. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Wode, ah, ya. Sí. Wode, ah, sí, ya. Ya. Wo, 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 de, de Tang Fu. Wo de Tang Fu. Muy bien. Nice. Good. Um, de Tang Fu. Miriam? Yeah. Thank you. Girl, shampoo. What does that mean? ¿Qué quiere decir? ¿Qué quiere decir, Miriam? Mi esposo. Very Muy good. bien. And Muy which bien. part is esposo? Yes. Which part is esposo? Mm -hmm. Shampoo. Very good. Okay, so last time you heard, uh, Veronica was using the word laogong. Okay, you will see that as well. Laogong. I'm going to take this one out. The other word for, for husband is langguang. Lao guang. Lao guang. La palabra para marido es esa. Lao guang. So how do you say your husband using lao guang? Oh, para usar otra palabra, tu esposo. ¿Cómo es? Este. 
Nilaukong. Very good, nice. And then what's the possessive matter? Muy bien. Y la, la palabra posesiva, ¿cómo es? Who remembers the possessive matter? I'm going to take this part out. So now we have me so at the moment. Very good. That's the exact oh, way we're looking for. Right. So there we go. Nida lao kong. Nida lao kong. Nida lao kong. Oh, that means your husband, tu marido. Yes. Correct. Nice. Okay. So we have covered this part where we said tang fu or lao kong. I think you can use either, whichever you're comfortable with at the time. Let's go to wife. Who knows the word for wife? Ahora la palabra esposa. Tai Tai. Tai Tai is good, yes. And you can also use Tai Tai for Mrs., right? Let's see. You can use it for wife. You can use it for lady. You can use it for madam. You can use it for mistress. You can use it for a married woman. Okay. So oh, la palabra Tai Tai. Tai Tai. Tai Tai. Tai Tai. Tai Tai. Tai Tai es para esposa, mujer, madama, la, la mistress. La mujer casada. Very good. Nice. So how, how do you say, um, let's see who has an easier synonym here. Hold on. I'm just going to pull out the names of the people. Let's see. How do we say? Miriam is Fragoso, your synonym. You're calling Miriam? Uh, okay, let's work with Valdez, all right? Mm -hmm. Valdez, how do we say? Mrs. Valdez. ¿Cómo se dice Mrs. Valdez, Miriam? Perdón, es que empezaron a poner a mis vecinos y no oigo bien. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice la palabra Mrs. Valdez con, usando el Tai Tai? Uh, tai Tai Valdez. Okay, nice try. So what comes first is the surname and then the Mrs. after, okay? So want to try that again? Uh, what's it? What's the rule? The rule is the name comes first, so Valdez, and then the title after. Okay, primero dices el nombre Valdez y luego el título. Mm, Valdez Tai Tai. Very good. Nice, nice done. Nicely done. Okay. Muy bien. And while we're here, let's show you another word. Sorry. ¿Qué es Tai Tai? Yes. Mujer o esposa o señora. Okay, gracias. Okay, and this one is the word for wife. Again, it's chi tzu. Chi tzu. Chi tzu. Chi tzu. Chi tzu. Yes, mm -hmm. here, over here. Okay. Esposa, wife, chi tzu. No, chi tzu. She mm. cheats. Very good. Okay, so you see, um, Tai Tai is also there. She is also there. They mean that they both they also mean wife. So we, we touched on two words for husband, two words for wife. Okay, I think that's great. No, we aprendimos dos palabras para marido y para mujer, esposa. Tai Tai y cheats. Y el esposo es Chang Fu. E long gong. Very good. Okay. Very good. So done all of this. Nice. Okay, let's got touch all oh, now. We try and get in touch with this also easier. Which one is easier? Okay, let's touch on Miss. Miss is Xiao Okay, over here at the top. La Miss Xiao. es como señorita. Xiao. Xiao Zie. Xiao Zie. Es como señorita. Xiao mm. Zie. Please say it to me. Xiao Zie. Repítalo. Xiao. Xiao. Xiao Zie. Xiao Zie. Yeah. So that's the word here. Xiao Zie. Xiao Zie. 
Piedra means rock. Ah. O, o, ¿Qué es pierda? Like lost? ¿Cómo que se pierdo? O oh, sea, means like lost. Okay, I won't trust Google anymore. All right, but here we go. Miss or young lady, all right? Okay, señorita o joven. Mm, good. Okay, nice. So that's where we are. Young lady, young lady. Okay, nice. So we've covered that one. Um, so how do we say young lady? Xiao jie. Okay, it says it, um, young lady, jovencita. Xiao jie. Jie. Xiao jie. Yes. Xiao jie. Very good. Nice to that. Okay. And um, now let's go back to um, Mr. El mister, el señor. Yes. How do we say mister? Para decir señor, ¿cómo decimos señor? Angela, do you want to try? Sin son. Sorry? Sin son. Yes, very good. Okay. Yes. That's a mister right there. Okay, so how do we say, who else is quite an interesting sentence? Um, let's look at here. How do we say Mr. Banda? Como diríamos Mr. Banda? Banda Sian Shen. Very good, that's what we say. Good, that's mm -hmm. nice. Banda Sian Shen. Very good, very good. Banda Sian Shen. Banda. Is it maestra? Maestra means teacher. <laughs> okay, I think, okay, the thing is, it also means say, all right? I think that's why it, it is it is like that. Okay, if we come up okay, here. Okay, let, let me see. Exactly. It also means say or mister, and sometimes you see that. That's why it's coming up with all those other names. So context also comes into play. So Sian Cheng means Mr. Yes, if you want to say Mr. Jones, Jones Sian Shen. Sian Cheng. Mm, very good. Okay, so back to our slide. I think we've covered much of the basic stuff. Um, the other stuff were really meant for those who have been there for some time. I think they will confuse them. I'm sorry about that. I'm saying the other stuff is a little bit advanced. It would have worked if we had people from previous classes together with us, then we would yes. have learned through the other stuff. But uh, for these ones who are joining for the first time, I think I consider the material a little bit harder for them to, to really focus. Yeah. So probably- Por primera the... vez vamos a repasar estas porque las otras son las palabras pensadas. Solo damos que quedar con lo más básico ahorita. Mm. Yes, sure, just. Xiao Cheng, Banda, Banda Xiao. Yes, good. So now let's do a quick rundown. Uh, just to, as we close up, we will give you one word each, one word each, one word each. And uh, we want you to be as fast as you can. Vamos a decir una palabra cada quien lo más rápido que se Okay, we'll start with you, Angela. Angela, what is a Bible student? ¿Cómo se dice estudiante de la Biblia? Yes, and since we're saying that's nice. Lydia, what is family? Jared. Nicely done. Uh, Miriam, what is the other word for family? Otra palabra para familia. Para familia, Jared. If Jared has been talked, has been covered, we yeah. want a new word for that. Okay, look it through. We'll come back to you just now. Uh, what's the word? Shiatin? No. Shiatin. También se despronuncia Shiatin. Yes, Shiatin is correct. Shiatin is correct. Thank you for that. Uh, Veronica, what's the word for father? Papa. Very good. Papa. 
nicely done because you was the word for mother. Mama. Nicely done. Sonia, what's the word for to visit? Mama. I think she's just observing today, Sonia. No matter stop observing the oil. Uh -huh. I know. Uh, I, I just, I'm just wanna. ¿Qué palabra? No escuché. ¿Qué dijiste? Palabra. What was it to visit? To visit. Yes. Ah. Uh, Bye, fan. Thank you. Ah, uh, what's the word for Rebecca? Angela, what's the word for Mister? Para Mister or Señor Angela. Para qué? Señor. ¿Cómo se dice Señor? Cien son. Cien son es correct. Ah. Uh, Lady, what's the word for miss? For miss is, how many missed it? Oh, see, I joy. No, see, I joy. Did you write that? Yes, see, I joy. Oh, no, no, no. I joy. Ah, no, 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 no. The end, the first part is correct, the last part. J. 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 Oh, J. G. C I J. -A. Okay, follow follow after me. G A G G A. Okay, so Xiao G Ye. Xiao G. Okay, very good. Uh, and what's the word for children? Miriam, what's the word for children? Estudiante, Miriam. Estudiante is Shen Shen Hien. Oh, I never heard that word before. Uh, for, for children. We're on children this time. Oh, para niños. Children. Hashi. Sorry? Hashi. Yes. Uh, the T part sounds like pizza. Okay, let's do it again. Hola. Pizza. Haizu. Haizu. Yes, very good. Okay, and uh, Kuzi, the other word for children? La otra palabra para niños. Uh, Our new is correct. Very good. And now let's split them. Um, we have the son and we have the daughter. Okay, so uh, Veronica, please say son. Niño. Niño. Arce. Arce. Arce is correct. Arce is correct. And daughter, uh, Sonia, daughter? Hija. You are. Correct, nicely done, good. And uh, now uh, let's go to, we'll, we'll back it to Angela. Wife or Mrs. Esposa. Yo. No, la esposa. Yo, pero yo. Sí, usted. Tai, tai. Taita is good, thank you. And Lydia, what's the other word for wife? Chai si. Please read that again. Chai si. <laughs> yes, you almost did one more time. Chai si. Uh huh. The z is like pizza again. People, let's not forget the z is like pizza. So one more time. Chai si. Pizza. Like pizza. <laughs> ah yeah, we're there now. We're there. I'm happy with that. Me. Um. What's the word for husband? El esposo ahora. For who? Shang Fu. Shang Fu is correct. And uh, where is Veronica? Veronica, what's the other word for husband? I remember you were the one who brought it up. Long gong. Ah, lovely. Mm. And last one, it's a bonus one. Who wants to try handsome? Who wants to try what? Handsome. Oh, la palabra guapo. <laughs> la palabra guapo, ¿cómo se dice? Es handsome. Para hombre o para mujer? Hombre. El hombre es el guapo. Try. Try is great. Oh, yes. And so you, you, all the male guys here are going to use try to their husband. And who wants to try Piolia? Oh, sorry. I shouldn't have said Piolia. I should have said beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I thought that uh, anyway, that was a bonus one. So okay, thank you guys for joining the class today. It was fun having you around. Um we'll try and drill down and post it for those who have missed it. Is there anyone with a question before we close the session? Muchas gracias por estar en la clase, dijo. 
¿Tiene alguien una pregunta? No. <laughs> All right, good. Uh, so I, I believe that that works for us today. If it's your first time joining, uh, you'll find some of the videos already uploaded. So maybe you wanna you might wanna go back and follow along. That will help a lot. Si es la primer clase y quieren uh, estar en este grupo, hay videos que podemos mandarle para que lo repasen. No tienen que estar en el grupo acá. Good. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Sonia. Muchas gracias, hermanos. Que tengan buen día. Thank you, Banda. Hope you feel better. Thank you for this time. Thank you.